if you could take it. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby, baby. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally, I'm doing the review on the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm um, kind of upset because everyone has pretty much already done a review on YouTube, and I was actually. Like, I ordered this on the first day it came out, and I'm not that type of person to be like, online, oh, ready to go, like, let's order, but I did that for this, and I was like, once I get it, like, I'm doing a review right away, and that was my plan until Irma happened. I had to drive 16 hours to Maryland to escape Hurricane Irma, therefore I did not get to film, and when I came back, the power was off in my apartment, so I still did not get to film, so now finally, two weeks later, um, I'm here filming, but better late than never, my review is going to be bomb AF, so let's just get started. So I got the color 190. I'm pretty sure this is going to be too light. I always underestimate my tanness, even though I'm like not even like tan. Like My face is so pale. Um, let's see how this looks. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be too light. Damn it. Why do I always do that? But you know what? It's always better to go lighter. Um then darker because you can always make your skin look darker with bronzer but you can't make your foundation lighter unless you like pile on like concealer which will ruin the whole point of the foundation so I'm just gonna shake it up it says shake well um, this is what it looks like it's a very nice bougie bottle like Rihanna herself very beautiful very what's this called it's like matte crystal it's almost light pink it has a pump which is the best. I love pumps they're sanitary like I literally love pumps so shaking this baby well all right so I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch oh yeah I already did my eye makeup by the way because this whole point of this video is to focus on the foundation but I literally just did a very like light fresh um glossy peachy orangey lid just because Rihanna's whole makeup line is basically enhancing your natural beauty and just fresh and glowy and it's focused on the skin, so I really wanted this look today to be focused on the skin. So that's why I went with a nice, fresh, glossy lid, very, nothing really on the bottom, and very simple. So I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews that this stuff oxidizes a lot, which means it gets darker in your skin once you apply it. So I'm going to do a swatch on my hand. Okay. So this is what it looks like when, you fr when it's first applied. Okay, so now I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So just to show you guys that it does oxidize when it dries, that's what it looks like when it's wet, and then that's what it looks like when it's dry. So it kind of went like one and a half to two shades darker than it was originally. So hopefully I'm showing you guys well enough. Um, so just keep in mind, like these are to two totally different shades, wet, dry. So when you're picking out your shade, I would highly recommend you go a shade lighter than you think you are. So if you're a yellow undertone or if you're a pink undertone, still stick to the undertone family, but just go a shade lighter in that family, if that makes sense. So now for the fun part, let me zoom you guys in. I'm going to put my hair back. I look like an egg. There you go. So how I'm going to test this foundation is I'm going to use a beauty blender on one side and a brush on the other to see what, how it kind of applies the best. So I'm just gonna start off with a beauty blender first. I'm gonna pump a little, one pump on my hand. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender, not beauty blender, uh, makeup forever. Oh my God, real technique sponge, wow. Okay, so that's really light. Wow. Um, okay, it's gonna dry darker, that's good though. That's a good thing to know. But, like, my stomach, my face. Alright, bronzer will fix everything I'm telling you guys. Like, it's fine. Bronzer will fix everything. Does anyone else, like, I feel like I beat up my face. Like, I pressed so hard with my makeup sponge. Okay, definitely need one more pump because one pump is not enough for even half of my face. Okay, so I'm going to do half of my forehead and half on my chin and then my nose. And we'll see. Don't forget to go back into your ear. So this is applying really nice. Like, it smells. Oh, wow. It smells really nice and like, it almost smells like a really good perfume like that I would wear. It smells really nice and like fresh and sweet. Very sweet. That's a good way to describe it. Okay, this is really good coverage, but it's so light. 
Wow, I'm really upset. Okay, so now for the other half of my face, I'm gonna do one pump, and I'm going to use a brush. Whoa. Yeah, brush definitely way more full coverage than a beauty blender, or than a beauty blender, makeup sponge, whatever you wanna call it. That's awesome, I like that a lot. I mean, the makeup for, oh my god, why do I keep saying that? The um, Real Technique sponge did a really beautiful, quick job of, of applying it. But this is definitely a much thicker full coverage application. Like I only have to, I had to use two pumps for this side. I only use one and a half pumps for this side. It's not that big of a difference, but like. You guys, I'm really upset. This is so freaking light. I look just like. Okay, let's not focus on how light it is. Let's focus on how beautiful it's applying with both a brush and a sponge. And let's focus on how it dries. I can't even feel that I have foundation on my face. It smells beautiful. It's comfortable. It gives really good even coverage. So let's just focus on those two things. So as it's drying down, I'm just going to go over everything with a beauty blender just to kind of like even it out because I did like using the brush but I always like find that whenever I use a brush I always just have to kind of go back and pat everything over with um, a beauty blender just to kind of even out the streaks of the brush so I'm doing that so as it's drying down um, it's a little bit better but it's so way too light like I had to order this online and picking the foundation on the, on the websites is really hard. Like on the Fenty Beauty website, they didn't really have a description of the shade undertone. They just kind of said light, medium, dark. But on Sephora, they had a description like yellow undertones, peach undertones, warm, neutral. And there was only two colors that had the name description of yellow undertones. And it was 190. And then I believe the other one was 210. And that one was too dark. And this one was too light. So I just got the lighter one. So I'm probably either going to exchange it for the darker one or I'm just going to buy the darker one and then mix the two. Okay, but other than that, like, this foundation is bomb. Like, it feels very velvety powdery. I don't even feel like, like, when <laughs> I do like the mouth test, I stretch my mouth. If I can feel, like, around my mouth and I know that's too much foundation, I literally can't, like, feel any, like, I'm wearing any foundation. It's so, so nice. And the coverage, you guys... Whoa. Like, I had a lot of red here because I just, like, popped a few pimples before. <laughs> um, okay, no redness. Yeah, I'm obsessed. So I definitely love, love this foundation. So this foundation is a little bit pricey. It's $34, but it's definitely not as pricey as, like, the Chanel Velvet Foundation, which is, like, $60. And it literally gives the exact same feel and finish, if not better. So I'm very happy with this. Um, I love it so much overall. I didn't get anything else from her line, I only wanted to test this, but I did get samples when I ordered the foundation, so I thought it would be fun to use the darkest shade they gave me as a contour. Isn't that weird? I, I just want to do that. So this is 420, it's pretty dark on the spectrum, and it would be like a perfect contour shade for me. So we're going to see how this does as a contour shade, that would, that, this should be interesting. I just want to see like if her foundation can be used as a contour as well, like why not? Also I wanted to tell you guys that I didn't use any primer, I only moisturized my face before putting on this foundation, I didn't want to give it any help whatsoever. I wanted to see how it would do on its own without any kind of um, primer and if it can do well on its own then, it can, then it's going to be amazing with, um, with a primer. So, so far it's literally amazing, like I'm obsessed with this, um, but we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. So I'm just going to take shade 420. I don't want to like splatter it everywhere. That would be so bad. Oh, we're back. Oscar, stop. No, you can't eat. We're back. Oh, you made me food? Oh, baby, come here. Thank you. He made me some chicken and mac and cheese, but I'm not, I can't eat this right now. You want to come say hi? Why? Just come say hi. Oh, no. I'm shy. Back to business, people. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking this. Well, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared to use this as a contour. What if it doesn't... Ooh, no, I don't know if I want to do this. Should I do this? Okay, I'm taking a flat brush. Ooh, 
okay? Okay, I should I'll probably blend it quick since it's matte and it's gonna dry. I'm just using a real techniques brush. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Oh no. Uh, uh, I found this wouldn't work. <laughs> I was so like hype. I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna be so clever and I'm gonna use the darker foundation as contour. No one ever thought of that, but it's a fail, guys. <laughs> Um, I'll be back. I'm gonna have to wash this entire cheek and I'll be back. So although my um, Fenty contour experiment did not work out, I want to test it with um, a different kind of contour other than the Fenty Beauty Line contour just to see how it works, how the foundation works with different products because if you have the whole line, chances are you're not, if you want to use your foundation, maybe you just won't use her contour sticks the same day maybe you want to use a different kind of contour so I want to see how well it blends with other brands so I have the Clinique chubby stick and I'm just going to do basic contouring I'm using my real techniques brush and then I'm just going to blend it was kind of stiff to blend out Maybe because there's not as much slip because the foundation is so matte. It is very matte, but it's not drying, so that's good. But I don't know. It's a little bit stiff to blend out. Um, I mean, it still looks fine. I just had to take a little bit of extra time. But if you don't care about taking extra time, then it's fine. Let's see how it works when I try to do my nose. I'm going to use a beauty blender instead of a brush. But yeah. See, like, look, I put a lot of effort into patting that. I mean, it's getting there, but it just takes a little extra time. The foundation's still amazing, but I bet you her contour sticks work better with the foundation, which is obviously expected. So I'm just going to go finish up the rest of my face, and then I will be back. Okay, so I just finished off the rest of my makeup. I did bronzer, blush, highlight, the usual. All of the powder products that I used did a great job of blending it with the foundation. The only problem I had was with the cream contour. It was a little bit stiff, but... That's honestly not that big of a deal. This foundation is awesome. It's definitely a lot better than it was before. It's not as pale and light. Um, it's still a little light, but honestly, from what it was when we started, it turned out so well. I told you bronzer literally fixes everything. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I love the foundation so far. Um, I want to do a flash test to see how this foundation does with flashbacks. So, you know, when you're out at night and you want to take a group picture with your friends and then after you take the picture you look like a white ghost hopefully this foundation doesn't do that so let's see so that's what it looks like with flash photography um there's a little bit of a cast but that's probably honestly because this foundation is too light for me um usually when there's bad flashback your whole face is white and that's not the case for this so i would say it's definitely flash approved especially if you get the right color so i'm just gonna wear the foundation for the rest of the day i have a full day ahead of me so it should put the foundation to the test and then i will be back to let you guys know how it did all right guys i'm back i just had to take my hair out oh my god it's been up all day oh that feels so good oh my god i don't know why i always have like a sore spot like when I have my hair up all day, it gets like sore. So I've had this makeup on for two, eight hours. Um, I am blown away. Um, like, it looks like I just put it on. Like, I mean, it wore off a little bit on my sides of my nose, but that's expected. That's literally like, give me a, a $500 foundation and I bet you it'll do that too. So that was expected, but... Uh, my skin is pretty dry right now, so I'm not really that oily. The thing I can say is if you have really, really dry skin, definitely put a good amount of moisturizer on before you put this on because it is a little bit dry around my mouth. Um, so that's like the only thing. Another thing is don't forget to go a shade lighter because it oxidizes darker. Final thoughts are this is amazing. This la if it can last eight hours, I'm just so happy. Like my makeup still looks so good. Like I... I know the highlights not like a part of the show, but like it's popping. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it is 10:32, and I have two assignments due by midnight. So 
yeah, wish me luck. Um, I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag. Rocker with sit on the brown like a Then I get like this, I can't be around you. I'm too little to dim down a notch. Cause I can